Well, a car going nearly 100 miles an hour slams into a Metro Detroit business overnight, and as you can see, it did a lot of damage. It happened in Dearborn Heights around 3 in the morning, so fortunately, no one was inside. And as Nick Monticelli reports, the building owner was told the driver was drunk. Good evening. The side of the Signature Group Realty looks a whole lot different than it did 16 hours ago. There was a car in their building. The question, how did that happen? A very simple answer. Take a look at these tire tracks. They paint the picture. The car was going down Ford Road, loses control, comes through the parking lot and smashes right into that building. I've seen it from outside. I have not seen it from inside, so we'll take a look. Tomorrow, FEMA didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, it's not going to open. And she isn't getting much rest today either. The owner of Signature Group Realty first found out this car parked in one of her offices from social media. My son was um, on Facebook or Instagram last night. I had fallen asleep and came upstairs and he tells me, Mom, I think there's a big car accident in front of your building. And he's watching the video and he looks down and he's like, no, there's a car in your building. I can't, I can't pull you out. I can't even open the door. That Instagram video shows the moments Dearborn Heights officers arrive, realizing it's just as bad as it looks. We're going to get an ambulance. We're going to get an ambulance and a fire truck. They're going to have to cut the car Unbelievable. out. Unbelievable. But also very believable now that we know what happened. Once they got those people out, officers said they arrested the driver. They said they were heavily intoxicated and they were estimated to be going about 100 miles an hour. With a door impossible to open, Realtor Ace Sob is going through walls to get into his office. There's some family pictures in here. That's the only thing I'm looking for through those scrummages to get those family pictures out and that's it. But everyone realizes despite a suspected drunk driver slamming into a building, it could be a lot worse. It's just uh, heartbreaking. The only thing is you don't care about all this stuff. As long as no one was here, no one was hurt. That's the most important thing. In Dearborn Heights, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.